No, no, excuse me. They believe in free will. They don't believe in predestination. But you know how like Calvinists, they believe in predestination. They don't believe in free will. They call it Arminianisms or something like that. Wait, you said they don't believe in free will. No, no, the Methodists do believe in free will. Oh. They, they, the method. I, I said it backwards at first. The Methodists, they believe in free will and they do not believe in predestination. Oh. They which, believe that you have a choice. Which literally says predestination. Yeah, and the Bible literally says predestination. <laughs> uh, so I'm pretty sure the Baptists believe in predestination and the Calvinists believe in predestination. That's the focal... Well, but here it is, the Calvinists, do they really believe in predestination? Like Vocab Malone, he's a goddamn Calvinist. And if you believe in predestination, that means everything's predestined. It's pre-written, pre-planned. Pre-programmed, right? I mean, it's already set in stone. You can't change it if it's predestined, right? So if Israel was chosen in the beginning, that means he's still chosen in the end, and that's still the Lord's people. Why would it change if he was predestinated? You're going to say, well, all of a sudden the Lord changed the predestinated? That doesn't even make no sense. You know what I'm saying? I was holding this for a little bit. Because you were talking about... Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm just rambling. Uh, I forgot. Somebody made a point. I forgot. Uh, damn, I forgot somebody said something about, like, pretty much how these niggas. Yeah, you said that. You said. How do I get to talking and I yeah. just. It's like that stream. You just follow the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah what's says the spirit is like when you don't know where it listed. Yeah, you know, you just, you got to yeah. go with it. You can't, you can't yeah. fight against it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you said something about, like, uh, the niggas, they, uh, they, uh. I just forgot already. Yeah, damn. What you said. <laughs> Damn, I just remembered and I just forgot it again. God damn. But uh, you said pretty much the people they before they didn't give a fuck about the market of the beast. Yeah. And now ever since now they now niggas see it. Now they like, oh, see, oh yeah, I've been telling y'all the market of the beast, man. Don't get this chip. Where the fuck y'all been at? Y'all y'all was missing the action. Now y'all wanna come out. Hey, we shouldn't brag, but we gonna brag. We gonna boast like Paul said, he boasts. <laughs> bro, we boast bro, we been telling y'all like yeah. like that like like I said, I'm still a young man in the truth. I'm like what, twelve? I don't even know how long I've been doing this. Making videos on the streets in Columbus for 11 years. Warning, uh, on the streets on video with a YouTube channel for 11 years warning people about the market of beasts. And that's why one of the main focal points. When you think about what we teach is what? What's the main things we teach? First of all, the Lord only came for the Israelites. He only dealing with Israel. Let's do the top 10 list. The most important things. Like That's one of the most important things right there. You know what I'm saying? The Lord only dealing with Israel. Oh, the, the name of the Lord. That's one of the most important thing. The name of the Most High is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. That's very important. End times. Yeah, the end times. Or going to the mark of the beast. Yeah, proxy all together. Yeah, the missiles. Nuclear destruction. You know what I'm saying? That's very important. The law and faith. Yep, the law. You got to keep the law and you got to keep the faith. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, the, what color was the Israelites? That's important. You know what I'm saying? You got to know that. This nation, who are they? Stuff like that. Like, the, who the, who the, who the Edomites, who the Israelites. Are. Right? You got to know that all the heathens, they going into slavery. Yeah. And the, all the all the heathen nations mentioned in the Bible, they're still here today. Just, just like the Israelites are still here today. Damn, heathen. It's just basic shit, man. Yeah. Like, the mark of the beast is basic. Like I said, we've been out there teaching that for years. Like the elder uh, Tahar, he been teaching about warning people about the market of the beast probably over thirty years. Just think how crazy you would have looked back in the eighties telling people that, yeah. or the nineties, you know? Because people they they look at us like we crazy, but we not so crazy no more. Just think when they look on it when if this shit opens back up, if we go back on the streets and they, you know, it's jumping out there, people you already know. Y'all was right. Y'all was right, though. Yeah, we've had we've had people talk. You know, we've had that uh, people tell us that before. They come up in that same spirit. And they're like, y'all was right, though. I seen it, though. <laughs> That's the exact same words. That's how they'll say it. Watch. <laughs> go watch next week. We go out there. They go, like, y'all was right. Everybody gonna want to talk to us now. Yeah. A lot of them motherfuckers went right back to sleep. Oh, that's true. Hey, yeah, if, if this shit quiets now, yeah. they're not going to quiet them, bro. They're going to keep this, social, this faggot-ass social distancing shit and all that. They're going to keep it. You know they're going to keep it going. Yeah, 
what they do so, so they can there you go motherfuckers and die you know what I'm saying that family can start cause I believe that they suddenly they gonna probably open it back open and then suddenly some crazy shit gonna happen again oh, they shut it right back and fuck it down and they gonna open it back open and yeah the numbers is gonna jump through the roof yeah. they gonna be like oh shit two million or something like that. You don't know what they're going to do. You don't know what. It is. You, all you got to do is watch. Like, you can't be ignorant. What is that scripture you read earlier? What was that? When that ignorant of Satan's devices? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We, well, like, what, what's that one? You, what's that one scripture you read earlier that said, don't believe nothing he said, the wicked said? It was uh, Sirach 13, I think. Yeah, Sirach 13. Or, yeah. What's the other one? Is uh, is iron rustus? So uh, yeah, get that one real quick. Yeah. Not if I read this one. Oh, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, this is that one scripture. It, it says uh, what you know the scripture number on it? Uh, Twelve. I don't know. Uh, but it just clearly says, "Never trust thine enemy." You know what I'm saying? That's rule, <laughs> rule number one. Never trust thine enemy. So anytime your enemy is on TV talking. You you don't trust him. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to be wary of everything he says. Oh, go ahead. It's, uh, Luke 12, I mean, Luke 21 and... Uh, oh, this thing's about to die. You got to read it quick. Uh, Luke 21 and 33 says, Heaven and uh, shit, 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unawares. But as a snare shall they come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Damn, yeah, fuck, you fuck the cares of this world. I gotta stop the camera.